Making the rounds and saw inside here at Madison Square Garden as Miguel Cotto defeats Sergio Martinez to become the middleweight champion of the world. Alongside is Brian Campbell and also Dan Raphael from ESPN.com. Dan, tonight, Miguel Cotto made history, becoming the first Puerto Rican fighter to win a title in four different weight divisions. What a night. I mean, I have covered Miguel's entire career, and pardon my voice, I've lost it. I've covered his entire career. This is probably my 23rd, 24th Miguel Cotto fight. That's about as good as he has ever looked, including his top victories as a welterweight against guys like Zab Judah and Shane Mosley. This was what I called in my article that is posted now on ESPN.com a tour de force. It does not get much better for Miguel Cotto than what he did tonight. One of the big components to what Miguel Cotto has been able to do has been the tutelage of Freddie Roach. Brian, tonight we saw a masterful game plan. No question about it. Look, I think here's the thing about Cotto throughout his career. When he's comfortable in camp, when there's no distractions outside of the ring, we see a different Miguel Cotto. This is a 33-year-old man tonight who looked like he was in his mid-20s. I think you got to give a lot of credit to that, to what Freddie Roach did. You know, maybe we look back at the Delvin Rodriguez destruction late last year. We don't look with it. We don't look at it with the same viewpoint anymore because Miguel came out. What Freddie brought together was a little combination: the aggressive body attacking, left hook punching Miguel Avold, mixed with the boxer that we saw under Pedro Diaz under that tutelage. Tremendous footwork tonight from Miguel, going to that left hook to the body, looping that left hook over the the right hand that Sergio Martinez has been known to drop. We saw just a textbook performance. As much as we knew that maybe Miguel could be competitive, I don't think any of us saw this type of outcome tonight. I don't think any of us could have expected the three knockdowns from Miguel Cotto to Sergio Martinez in the first round. Dan, were you surprised at how assertive Miguel started off because he came out, as you mentioned, like a tour de force and set the tone early? I wasn't surprised that he came out aggressive. I think that was going to be part of their game plan. The fact that he got Sergio on the deck three times in the first round and then he survived, my memory went back to the first fight between Marquez and Pacquiao. And if you remember in that fight, Pacquiao got uh, you know, dropped Marquez three times in the first round, but Marquez was able to come back and make it a very close fight. I thought he won the fight. Sergio Martinez, though, I thought, okay, maybe he's going to make a comeback like that. There was no comeback. He got absolutely, you know, just destroyed tonight, and it was not even close. The scorecards from the official judges all had it a shutout. I added a shutout. I don't know if there was a single round you could even conceive to give Sergio Martinez in that fight. Couldn't agree with you more, Dan. For Sergio Martinez, Brian, is this the end of the road? We know he's got another fight under his HBO contract. You know, his trainer tonight, Pablo Sarmiento, after the fight, didn't want to commit to anything. I think we'll see him back. But I think what we saw tonight was the end of the road physically for that dynamic, you know, that that fighter that just goes on rhythm, that can just stay, change things up, that can drop his hands, that can work with that swagger. He never got in a rhythm tonight. Part of that was, of course, uh, how explosive Miguel came out. But I think part of that was the age, the injury has caught up to Sergio. You know, and he talked during the fight to, to his corner about the knee acting up. And when he's a fighter, a guy who re relies so much on athleticism, when the, he has a knee issue that's going to slow him down, it's going to be the beginning of the end because he's not a guy who gets by on technique. It's the beginning of the end potentially for Sergio Martinez. For Miguel Cotto, he has a lot left. Oh, yeah. And my goodness, does he have some options. Dan, we hear there's talk about maybe Miguel Cotto and Canelo Alvarez. Now that top-ranking Golden Boy seem at least on the surface to begin opening up discussions. You mentioned on Twitter and in your column as well that you would like to see Miguel Cotto, Floyd Mayweather number two. Where do you think things kind of lie with Miguel Cotto and his immediate future plans besides rest? Well, I, yeah, besides rest, I don't think we're going to see a Mayweather 2. That's uh, still an issue because of the Al Heyman top rank issues. I was musing about it would be a, probably a, even a more competitive fight this time around if they did it at the heavier weight and with Miguel Cotto being with Freddie Roach and being leaving in him so much. I think what we're realistically looking at, and this is what Bob Arum talked about after the fight, a fight for Miguel here at the Madison Square Garden in December against whatever opponent they come up with, potentially Canelo Alvarez. Alvarez, remember, he's got a tough fight against Arizlani Lara in July. So if it's not going to be Canelo Alvarez next, there's a lot of good middleweights around they can put him in with, or maybe he'll go back down to 154. But the bottom line is, at some point later this year, maybe May of next year, whenever, I think we're going to see Canelo Alvarez against Miguel Cotto. That is a mega, mega, mega fight. It's Mexico versus Puerto Rico. It's about as big as it gets in boxing. The two most popular fighters from those countries, two exciting fighters. Uh, and if Miguel, you know, I don't see any reason why they can't fight it out for the middleweight title, even if they make it out of catchweight. Bottom line is, that's a big, big, big middleweight championship fight, and it would be fun to see Canelo Alvarez come east to New York City.
Miguel Cotto becoming the first Puerto Rican fighter to win a world title in four different weight divisions as Miguel Cotto is now the middleweight champion of the world on behalf of Dan Raphael and Brian Campbell. I'm Ray Flores for making the rounds from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden.